Hey, 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 hey. I pray that you guys are having a great day, great morning, great afternoon, great evening, great night. Whenever this video find you, I pray all is well. So I want to give you this encouraging word that the Lord gave me. And it started from a dream. So in the dream, I can't remember all of it. In the dream, I had seen where the God went, where um, a person was given 300000 Then it went to 200000 And like I said, I can't remember all of the dream. And then as I was laying there, um, I heard God say, See, when the Holy Spirit is speaking, you have to write it down real quick. Like I said, I was half asleep. And I was, and, and I heard God plain as day. And he said, it's not that I wouldn't or I didn't. I'm going to paraphrase what he said. Because like I said, you had to catch it real fast. Because it, in a blink of an eye, it's gone. Like it, it flashed. But he was saying that, that, that what I had given you. Let me see exactly how he said that. I can't remember exactly how. Because maybe it was just for me. But let me give you the encouraging word from it. Because yeah, that part of it was just for me. That I can't even tell you more just for me. But God was saying, I would give you these things. God would, you know, he'll, he'll give you a husband. He'll give you a wife. He'll give you a vision. He'll give you a business. He'll give you a home. He'll give you these things. And when he gives it to you, it might not look like it's at the best. It might not be at its full potential. But... Even though it's not at its full potential, that means God want to let you get your hand in it. And while you get your hand, he said, I want you to cultivate it. I want you to go in and make it better. Even though it might look a little discouraging, like the outside don't look so good. God said, I want you to get your hand dirty. I want you to cultivate it. I want you to groom this. He said, I want you to nourish, nurture this. Nurture that man that got like a little attitude, but you know he loved you because he loved me. Nurture that baby that you just had for nine months. That's going to cry and whine. Nurture that baby. Nurture that business that I gave you a vision to do. Even though it don't look like it's making any money, nurture it. Put your hand in a mold with a play with it. But he said, but why are you doing all this right here? Don't forget about me. See, in the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 6, um, started chapter 10. When he told the children, um, he, said, he said, you know, children of Israel, the promise he gave to Abraham, it fell on all of us. He said, I'm going to give you houses you didn't build, vineyards you didn't plant, um, um, barns that you did not build. I'm going to give you these things. I'm going to give you these things that you didn't even have to labor for, and I'm going to give it to you. And he said, but when I give it to you, I need you to follow me. See, one thing about it, let's take for instance. When God give us something, and if you don't know how to properly use it, you're going to mess it up. But in order to learn how to properly care for that husband, care for that wife, care for that business, care for that baby, it is a manuscript that he had. In order for you to have this friendship or this a ship, you have to go to the manual. See, one thing about what God does, he work on us when he give us stuff. And but we don't we want it the easy way. We don't want to fight for it. We don't want to mold for it. We want it just because we just want it. Well, don't you know anything that's microwave? Microwave food don't taste good like it does when it, you know, come off the, off the shelf. And so that's what God is saying. That when I give you this, um, what you desire of me, what you have asked, when I give you this, I need you to get in my word. I need you to know how I feel about it. I need you to, I need, because we're going to need God in this coming season on how to do this and how to do that. See, we think we know everything. We think, oh, well, I've had that experience. No, you don't. Because you might have had a baby. And you might have had another baby. You think you, 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 you know all this because of the first baby. Don't you know the second baby is different than the first baby? Ain't nobody the same. So I want to encourage you that when you're walking into your season with God, just miraculously, miraculous, miraculously, there it go, bless you with the wood elf. Why are you taking it? It might not look right. But you get in your word. You get in prayer. You get in worship. You read the word of God in order for you to, to make better what God has just given you. See, God is a God. He wants an investment. He wants a return on his investment. 
what he invests in you, he want to return. Because it's somebody down the street that's been praying and they don't know God like you know God. It might be your next door neighbor that's been going through, but they don't know God like you know God. Don't you know that we're the hand and the feet of Almighty God? Don't you know God uses we his little puppets? We move around like little puppets. But be a good puppet for the Almighty God. A puppet says what the master that's holding it says because it's the master speaking. A puppet move the way the master make it move because it got a hand on it. You be God's puppet. You let God put his words in your mouth. You let God let you be the one that's doing the movement. Do you hear what I'm saying? If you want to win in this season, if you want better than what you had in 2023, if you want better what you had in 1979, if you want better what you had in 1991, if you want better what you had in 1982, if you want better what you had in 1940, baby, get in God. Because right now, this is your time. I don't know. God knows. But this is your time. If God laid it in your hand, he gave it to you in your hand, it means it's your time. And when he give you what you did not work and labor for, baby, you better get up in his face and ask him, God, how do I nurture this? God, how do I take care of this? See, God deal with the heart. And when you deal with the heart, when somebody give you something and something that you've been wanting, baby, you won't go and see God and say, how, how can you preserve this or even make it better? So I just want to give you that quick encouraging word. And you go in and take the nuggets and take what you need out of it. Because, uh, you know, because I really wanted to tell you about the dream, but I can't remember it. And I want to tell you exactly how you took it, but I can't remember because it was just for me. It was for me. But it's in my mind. I can hear it and I can remember. But I just can't repeat it. So you guys have a great day. And uh, look forward to your 2024. Is it going to be easy? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's not. But guess what? It's going to be worth it. And it's going to be worth it because you got Almighty God. And it's Jesus is the reason when you can go before God. Jesus is the reason when you have a do-over. Jesus is the reason when you have accepted him as your Lord and Savior. When you have accepted him being the one who was crucified, who died and rose again for you and I. That you gonna, your sins are going to be forgiven. You can go and have a, a whole new life, a whole new slate. Because that's who God is. So y'all have a blessed day. Uh... I'm about to go to sleep.